Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see operations on signals. So in this tutorial, we'll be doing three operations, guys: addition, subtraction, multiplication. So these are the most common three operations that we can see that we can do in between two signals. So basically, let us assume that this is our first signal. At zero, it is one. At one, it is two. At two, it is two. At three, also it is two. Fine. Okay. At zero, it is two. At one, it is one and at two it is three at three it is three so these are the two signals okay guys so now let us go through addition so whenever you are doing for continuous signals it's a bit confusing guys even i get confused many times how can we do for this part what will be the value at this it is one or two or three there are many many confusions which will be rising in our mind so my suggestion will be Take the maximum number, guys. That's it. Or take them along y-axis. Here it is one. Here it is two. Here it is two. Here one. Sorry, here two. Here one. Here two. Like that. Just assume like that and just take them. It will be fine. Because these questions will be asked for two or one marks itself. If we are really lucky, they may come for five marks. But it's hundred percent rare, guys. Okay. So we need to add these both signals. So at zero it is one, and at zero it is two. So two plus one is three. So at zero we'll be marking three, which is nothing but x one plus x two is equals to x three of t. Similarly, at one it is. It is what will you say? I say at one it is two, and here at one it is one. So one plus two that equal to three. The same point. Similarly, at two it is two. At two it is three. So at two it should be five. So it having increased a bit. And at three it is two, and at three it is three. So at three it is two, so two plus three five. So at five it will be here. Fine. So I hope everyone is now clear with addition. So addition is nothing but adding the individual points. I said zero, these two addition, then these two addition, then these two addition, then these two addition. That's it. You will be getting a new graph. That's it. So now let us go through subtraction. Subtraction is also similar to addition, guys, but you will be doing subtraction operation. That's it. Here we added this with this, so now we are going to subtract this with this. So here, one minus two, which is minus one, so the axis went directly down. Fine. At one it is two, and at one it is one. So two minus one is positive one, so it came back to positive. Fine. And at two, it is two, and at two it is one. Sorry, two it is three. So two minus, okay, two minus one it is. One fine. Again, it is two. It is three. So two minus three should be minus one. But I have just kept one, guys. It should go down back like this. If you ask me, how it will be just crossing down. Here it will be highlighting like that. So now I hope everyone is now clear with addition and subtraction. So multiplication is nothing but multiplication of these two, guys. One into two, which is equals to two. Like that we form it. But here the value has I think it came six or seven. I think so. So six three into two, it is six. So that's the reason why the graph suddenly rises up. Okay. So this is how we do the basic operations like addition, subtraction, and multiplication on any signal. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through time scaling, guys. Guys, next three tutorials are really really important. Don't miss them, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.